cotton made slaves the most valuable thing in the nation beside the land itself. But as abolition spreads across the North, the fight against slavery grows fiercer. Violence is erupting on the streets of Washington in the halls of government. And the nation draws closer to civil war. Slavery and the Making of America. Wednesday night at 9. You're watching WMHT and WMHT-DT. To offer himself as a POW is not an easy option. It takes a lot of guts. I saw some lads up at Lark Field, and one was the spit of Eugene LaSalle. We must talk about your soldier. What about him? He's not what he says he is. He hasn't come from France, and he's been on the island more than a week since before I lost my Lancer. He and another boy. Island at War, tonight on Masterpiece Theater. This program was made possible by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. episode of Island at War. What else do you do with them? Tensions rise between the Germans and the locals. I'm looking for Zelda K. He intends to protect her in return for certain favors, which is why she has to hide. Leading to a final desperate plot. Fancy trip to England. We need a book. If you're caught, then I am too, and that's the way I want it. I won't be caught. Bad news, you bloody little boys in your bloody war. Island at War, next time on Masterpiece Theater. For previews of upcoming programs and to sign up for episode reminders, visit Masterpiece Theater online at pbs.org. To order Island at War on DVD, please call WGBH Boston Video at 1-800-255-9424. This program was made possible by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. We are PBS. Expect a masterpiece. This is Mr. Chipping. The boys are, I warn you, most energetic. Most. I do know how to teach. James Hilton's classic story of a beloved teacher. One of the pillars of the school has been your and my Latin teacher, Mr. Chipping. Masterpiece Theatre presents Goodbye, Mr. Chips. I'm asking you to marry me, Elizabeth. Yeah. She'd be the first commoner to marry into the royal family since Anne Boleyn. Well, that didn't work out, did it? They never expected to become king and queen. This is Mrs. Wallace Simpson. But a shocking scandal changed their destiny. If a king goes against the advice of his ministers... I may have to resign the throne. I may have to step down. I can't step into his shoes. All attention now focuses on the king's brother, the heir presumptive to the throne. So, you're king? Ralph looks as if I have. Golly. The crown of England. 
Will he do it? The story of a reluctant royal couple. Do you hear what they're saying? We want the king. We want the king. Bertie and Elizabeth. Somewhere out there, right now, is a kid with a great song in his head we've yet to hear. Or a story in their heart that is yet to be written. A child that hasn't picked up a camera, but will one day create a film that will change the world. They haven't found their voice yet, but one day they will. They'll have something important to say. And thanks to PBS, there'll be a place for that voice to be heard. That's why I support PBS, and I hope you will too. From American experience, he went from objective scientist to true believer. There is no moralizing what he's doing, and perhaps there should be some kind of moral restraints. Learn the real story of the man who opened America's dialogue on sex. Dr. Kinsey's one-sided report will lead to various types of moral abuses. He was sincerely wanting to help. Kinsey on American Experience. Monday at 9. Hi, I'm Benita Zong with the Health Link Minute. Do you know the warning signs of a heart attack? They include chest discomfort, usually in the center of the chest, and it may last for more than a few minutes or go away and then come back. The discomfort can feel like uncomfortable pressure, squeezing, fullness, or pain. Discomfort in other parts of the upper body, including one or both arms, the back, the neck, jaw, or stomach. There may also be shortness of breath, breaking out in a cold sweat, nausea, lightheadedness, and sometimes women will say they just have a sense of dread. If you or someone you're with experiences chest discomfort, especially with one or more of the other signs, call 911 and get to a hospital immediately. For more information on all the health issues that are important to you, join me every Tuesday night at 7.30 right here on WMHT for HealthLink, made possible by St. Peter's Healthcare Services and Prime Care Physicians. See you next time with another HealthLink Minute. Hi, I'm Benita Zahn. One in four youths under age 18 lives in a family where a person abuses alcohol or suffers from alcoholism. Alcoholism doesn't just hurt the alcoholic, it's a disease that strikes the entire family. On Tuesday, February 15th at 7.30, we'll hear from the youngest victims when WMHT presents Lost Childhood, Growing Up in an Alcoholic Family. Immediately following at 8, experts will answer your questions on the topic during a live HealthLink call-in. Please join us for this important discussion. Little Red Riding Hood was so busy. There were confirmed reports. The wolf sprinted directly to grandmother's house. A solid oak entry door with steel hardware and a deadbolt lock could have kept the wolf out of her house. But the wolf got in, and there he found grandma resting on an antique wrought iron bed worth between six and eight thousand dollars. If my dog Pal were there, the wolf wouldn't have gotten near grandma's house. There's more than one side to a story, and you deserve to hear them all. Join me as I sit down to discuss the award-winning play A Walk in the Woods with Capitol Rep's own Reggie Life and Maggie Mancinelli Cahill. We'll also visit the New York State Museum for a look at the powerful exhibition by award-winning photographer Margaret Courtney Clark. And John Poorman from the Capitol District Transportation Committee joins me in studio to talk about the changing face of local transportation. It's all this week on Insight. Thursday night at 7.30. You're watching WMHT and WMHT DT. Hudson River Journeys can be yours on home video from Shop WMHT. Both the DVD and VHS contain additional material not seen in this broadcast. To order, call 1-800-950-9648 or visit us online. Funding for Hudson River Journeys is provided by the Peacock Companies, developers of commercial real estate in New York's capital region, including the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation Headquarters. We are proud to support Hudson River Journeys and thank Public Television for bringing the story of America's greatest river to life online at peacock.com.
At M&T Bank, we've been there for our customers for more than 140 years. So we've come to understand what's really important, helping people reach their goals. M&T Bank, understanding what's important. Spencer, join me in our search for America's hidden treasures. My grandmother would show me these dolls, but I never could touch them. My wife says, those gotta go. I'm a happily married 39 years to this woman. I don't argue with her. Oh my gracious. I'm so glad that somebody finally convinced you to buy it. Next time from Memphis, Tennessee on Antiques Roadshow. Monday night at 8. When I walk into the RISE office and I look on the wall and I see the thank you letters from the families of the people who have been listening to me, that makes me feel good. That's about that, that's that's the best part of the whole thing. My dad has severe macular degeneration, and uh, RISE has been a, a source of inspiration in life for him. And believe me, you don't want to get in a discussion with my father as far as political events or current events. He's just so well informed thanks to RISE. My life would be bleak without Rise. I look forward to it. I feel as if I know the readers. Uh, it's, it's like a family thing to me. If you know someone who is losing their sight, you would want the very best for them. Rise can help them. Rise can keep you informed and help you on your way. From American experience, he went from objective scientist to true believer. There is no moralizing what he's doing, and perhaps there should be some kind of moral restraints. Learn the real story of the man who opened America's dialogue on sex. Dr. Kinsey's one-sided report will lead to various types of moral abuses. He was sincerely wanting to help. Kinsey on American Experience. Monday at 9. Support for today's programming is provided by the members of WMHT. Thank you. And by the Harlem Globetrotters. Coming to the Pepsi Arena Day, February 24th at 7 p.m. in their only...